Hey guys, what's up? It's Alaric from AppFine on AppleWisdom.com here, and today we're going to be giving you my favorite list of my favorite top 20 iOS 5 hidden features. Now don't forget, this is kind of a long video, so you should give yourself some time to watch it, and don't forget to post in the comment section below if there's a feature you think I forgot. We're going to be showing you these in broken into categories. They're not going to be in a list down from, you know, my favorite to my least favorite. This is just going to be broken up into categories such as camera and settings and miscellaneous. So we're just going to check these out. And don't forget to subscribe if you learned something and leave a comment below. All right, let's get right into this. Let's take a look at some of the cool features of the camera app. One of the first cool features you notice is when you load it up, you can see that basically, instead of having just to take a photo by tapping the photo button, you can now take a photo using the top volume rocker. Another neat feature is, you could actually swipe to the left and see your most recently taken photos. You can even manipulate those photos and view them, using this as just a standard photo viewer. And you can always swipe right back to get into your photo application. Another cool feature is the new auto focus lock. Just do that and it'll automatically focus that one area. That way it'll keep it in that one area instead of see how it, when it moves around it deletes it. If you do the auto focus lock it'll stay in that one area no matter where it turns. Another cool feature is the fact that you can actually get into the camera app right from the home screen. You at the home screen you double tap here and there you go. You can get right into it by double tapping the home screen button and press the little camera icon. A couple new features come in the uh, use of the photo uh, browser. One of the coolest features is you can now actually make brand new albums. Another sweet feature is you can now use PhotoStream to share photos with other iPhones or iPads. Now if you take a look here, they've actually added some new editing features. You click edit and you can actually make touch-ups, remove red eye, and even crop down the image. Now let's take a look at some more cool iOS 5 hidden updates. Now let's take a look at some of the cool new features in the settings tab. Open up settings and follow along. Basically all you got to do is open up settings, go to sounds, and now you can actually select your ringtone or your text tone. But the cool thing is, is you can actually buy more tones. You click there and you'll be brought right to the uh, ringtone store in the iTunes store. Check this out, you can buy ringtones. They're mostly 30 second ringtones available for $129 each. Another cool feature is the usage feature. Now basically what this lets you see is all of the usage that you have on your iPhone at that certain time. So let's go into general usage and it will show you your total storage available in the iCloud and your total storage available on your iPod and what it's taking up. We'll wait a, se wait a second for this to load. Alright, now that it's loaded up you can see all your apps and how much data there's taking. Now some of these apps might actually have documents and data in there that's actually taking up more space than the app itself. As you can see with one of my popular photo applications the app seems to be taking up 560 megabytes. Now if you were to look at this in your normal computer it would only show it as 29.4 megabytes but within this app I can see that my documents and data like my photos that are stored in there are taking up 530 megabytes. I also have the ability to delete the app right from the usage settings. You can also manage all of your storage from the iCloud and you can buy more storage. Now there's a cool little thing right here called the software update and um, it's up to date at 5.0 right now but when new software comes out, you can actually update right from there instead of having to connect it. Another cool feature is the iTunes Wi-Fi sync, and you can sync this right to your computer. Now, if you go back here, you can see that you can change some settings on your Twitter. Now, with Twitter integrated, 
you can post things instantly to Twitter. But did you know that you can actually add multiple accounts? And you can choose whether to post between one, the other, or both. Another cool feature that's offered here is the assistive touch feature. Now this is really great if one of your buttons broke on your iPhone, you can use this feature to pretty much perform any outside tasks just using the touch screen. So let's go here and you scroll down to accessibility. Scroll down a little more to assistive touch and turn it on. Now you can create gestures right here or you can just use it. Now you see this little icon that pops up here which you can move across the screen. This is the assistive touch icon. This will let you create gestures or use different device features such as turning the volume up. Say your volume rocker was broken or you're just too lazy to press it. And you can use that. You can also shake your iPhone, rotate your screen, and lock your screen instantly from right there. Now this is really cool because you can move it to different areas and when you're using the rest of the screen it dims. Now you can always get rid of it just by hitting assistive touch off and it'll disappear. But it seems like a pretty cool feature to have. Now if you check this out there's a couple more features that I'm going to show you. Uh, one of the other cool features is adding keyboard shortcuts. So if you go to settings in general then keyboard and you add new shortcuts you can type in the phrase you want it to be and then the shortcut letters. Now there's a preset up shortcut OMW as on my way. So now let's check this out in the notepad application. If we load up notepad and we add a new note and we go OMW it'll instantly type in on my way. And this will also work for the texting application. Now let's look at some different features. Basically, when you load up the weather app, there's now an hourly update. So if you want to see the weather, not only can you see it for this week, if you scroll down like that, you can now see it hourly throughout the day. Another great feature is you can take a look at private browsing. So if you open up your settings, You go down to Safari and you enable private browsing. It will close all the tabs and it will initiate private browsing. Another cool feature is a couple new things with the calendar app. Let's launch the calendar and take a look. One of the cool things is now you can instantly create new events just by tapping on the date and holding. It'll instantly bring up the new event list and you can fill out all the information. Another cool feature is you can now just turn it over on its side and you can view a whole landscape of everything that you need to do that day and that week. But you just flip it back over and it'll bring back the regular calendar. Now another cool feature is you can actually balance between your home, work, and regular calendars and you can also add iCloud calendars at the same time. Now let's take a look at some more features. Uh, another cool feature is in the Maps app, you can actually print directions. By uh, pressing this button over here, you just hit print, and you can, by pressing this button over here, you can just hit print, select your printer, and you can automatically print directions. Another great feature is if you l open up the notes and pretty much any typing application, there is a whole new define button. So if you type a word like cool and you select it, you can click over here and click define. And it will load up an instant dictionary that will tell you what cool means or whatever word you type in. That's a pretty neat feature and it's really cool to look up. Now that's pretty much all the updates and cool stuff that we had. 
Hope you guys enjoyed my top 20 iOS 5 hidden features. Don't forget, if you didn't see a feature that you know about that I didn't show in this video, post it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later on an all-new App Find video. Bye.